Hi everyone, my name is Amy Safantes and I am the Director of Digital Marketing at Forever Living Products. I am here with another great training on FLP 360. So today I wanted to just share a few things with you about the platform, introduce you to a few new tools and a few new things that have come out in the past two weeks and also introduce you to a promotion that we have going on. In case you haven't heard, our 30-day free trial. We're gonna talk a little bit about that and answer some questions that we've heard from all of you. So to get started, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to flp360.foreverliving.com. This is the homepage for FLP360. It's where you'll start, uh, whether you've signed up or not, this is where you can go to log in, uh, it's also where you can go to get more information about what is in the platform. So to give you a little bit of an overview, FLP 360 is a digital marketing performance platform. How we've built this is by taking different pieces of your business and breaking down what we think is the best, the best things to deliver to you. So that includes data about what, your, what is happening in your business. It includes uh, things like your order history, uh, volume, your downline reports. It could also mean if you do sign up for FLP 360 that you get a few additional reports and advanced features that show you what your areas of weakness are and what your areas of strength are. And that's related to four core. And so if you have the platform, you can go through all of these reports, start to strategize for your business and see what areas you really need to work on. In addition, there are social tools that can help you grow your business as well. And these social tools are really focused on selling and prospecting. And so in these social tools, you'll find uh, they, are, they include social media scheduling. It includes a library of content that you can use to help professionally brand your business. And it also includes landing pages that can help you generate leads uh, and includes calls to actions that you can put onto social content or any type of blog content that you share on social media that can link people back into your business to shop or join. So some cool features, and if you are not signed up already, you can go to this landing page, learn more about it, and then click on sign up. So we have two different options for you. You can pay monthly, or you can pay the total yearly subscription and not have to worry about it again. You get a small little discount when you do that. So when you sign up, if you are a new user, if you've never had FLP 360 before, then you will get 30 days for free to try out the platform and tell us what you think. You can cancel at any time. Uh, you will have to enter in your credit card information to get started. And this is so we can charge you when you are ready to continue on with the platform. So be sure to head here. If you have any questions about your 30 day free trial, uh, you can leave your comments uh, on this Facebook Live or you can email questions to smileteam at flp.com. So we will get back to you on those. So from here, I wanna show you a few updates that we've made to the platform that I think some of you will really like. So we're gonna go in here, I'm going to log in. And once you log into the platform, you can use your FBO ID or your primary email ID that you have on file. There's a few new cool things that I wanna show you. So under tools and under activity feed, you have a new way to filter out activity that's going on in your, in your feed. So these recent activities will show you things like who has interacted with your landing pages. It will share things like what new content channels you subscribe to and also things that are coming, new, new people who have joined your downline, any new um, visits you've gotten to your landing pages, as well as anyone who's clicked your shop buttons or actually completed a purchase. 
And so if you want to filter through those things so that you can see things a little easier, maybe you're just interested in lead captures. You want to see how many people have filled out your contact forms in the last week. Uh, or just see how many people have visited your pages. Uh, you can filter by all of these, apply your filter, and then it will show you your results here. So you don't have to see everything. If you've got a lot going on, then this makes it a little easier for you to be able to see what's happening with your business at a glance. The new cool thing that I wanna show you is stats. So, for all of the content that you're sharing from the media library and the landing pages, you can actually go into the activity feed and click on stats and see everything uh, from this one view. So you can see how many people have viewed that item. You can see how many people have clicked on that one particular post or your landing page. And then you can see how many leads you've generated from those landing pages or, or links. And you're gonna see that breakdown by day. So as content's coming in, you're gonna be able to see what is happening with your business every single day and what is performing the best. So from here, you can see that the main Forever Living Products website is our probably our best performer right behind the Nutrition Made in the USA, which means I'm probably gonna to wanna to share a lot more content like this one so that I can continue to boost um, my visibility and hopefully generate more leads. In addition to the stats that you can see on the activity feed, you can also click directly into the media library and look directly at the resources. So you see all these resources here are things that you can choose from and that you can share. Let's say you've shared some of these already these stats are updated every hour, and you can see them broken down individually. Um, so these ones at the top are gonna be the ones that you've shared most recently and that have probably the most views and calls to action clicks. So if you've, if you've attached a call to action, which are these handy messages that allow you to Put in a photo, put in a URL and a message for users. Then you will see those stats display whoever's clicked on those links. Those are the call to action clicks that you will see in your media library stats. In addition, we have also included stats on your landing pages. So here you'll be able to see all of your landing pages that you have set up. And that will include views, clicks, and leads generated through those contact forms that are embedded on those pages. So once someone fills out that contact form, it will filter into your contacts feed under tools. You'll also see it in your activity feed so you can filter down and see how many new leads you've generated as well. So this gives you a little bit more visibility into what's happening with your landing pages and media library. So in addition to all of those things, I just wanted to point out also um, that we've added some more advanced features under reports as well. So for those of you who are familiar with our advanced reports that you would, were able to download in the previous version of FLP 360, we've actually built a whole page for these reports. So you can access them under reports, advanced reports, and then for each of these, you'll have to click on run report because it is a pretty big file. What you'll do, and I'm gonna show you through the reporterizer, is you'll click on that filter and create your own report through this tool. So you can go through, you can choose um, if you just want to see certain levels, if you just want to see certain personal details about your report, uh, the people in your report, and then uh, choose what type of case credit information you would see about them. So maybe you just want to see if they're active this month, uh, you want to see total CCs, um, maybe it's related to an incentive 
You can filter all of these down and then you'll click on run your report and you're going to want to let this new page kind of do its thing for a while because it is going to take some time for us to crunch all of this data and then spit out a report at the back end for you. So this opens up in a new tab as you can see so you can just go back here and continue uh, continue on with your FLP 360 session over here. The other thing I'd like to point out is that under landing pages, you'll see this landing page settings feature. And this landing page, feature, uh, landing page settings feature allows you to change your social links that appear on your landing pages, as well as your photo and bio that are listed here. Okay, so all of these domains that you have set up, hopefully you've connected them to a home page so that your home page appears whenever someone goes to these links. Um, but when they go there, these are the social links that will be included on those pages. And then previously we said that your about me section had to appear on those landing pages. So I'm just gonna show you something that we've also changed so that you are prepared and can make these changes. So you see you have multiple landing pages. Maybe each of your landing pages uh, is um, for a different purpose, right? So maybe, and I'm gonna change this back into, back quickly. Okay. So as you can see here, you can actually select a language and if you would like to translate it, you can add a new language here. Uh, and you can translate the whole page. So that's what we were experiencing on the last one was uh, looked like Slovenian was being translated. All right, so this is what I wanted to show you. So under this about section, you can see that there is a photo, the social links are here. These are coming directly from that landing page settings section. But what we've allowed you to do is now this is an editable field. So prior to this, uh, that bio came in from the landing page settings. You can still choose that option, but we are allowing you to edit this field so that you can change it based on, maybe you have different landing pages, you want a different bio that relates back to that landing page content. So this is gonna allow you to edit that. Uh, and just a reminder, you can do a lot with our editor here. So if you wanna change colors, you can add emojis, uh, you can change the paragraph text, uh, all the different formatting, you can insert links, videos, photos. Um, there's a lot of customization that's available through this page. And then of course, just as a reminder, you have a lot of settings options. So be sure to check it out. Be sure to add in your description and your keywords. Enable your notifications so that you can make sure to get notifications whenever um, someone takes action on your web pages. You can also change the vanity URL and if you would like to change the Vimeo video that is on the page, you can do that here as well. So under content, you go under the video source and you can change it from either a Vimeo link or a YouTube link. And then of course your landing page will update and save as you, make, as you make changes. When you're done with all of your changes, just be sure to click public. And that will make sure that your page is then available on the web. Once you've clicked publish and clicked okay, it will give you an option to view your page. And now your page is viewable and you can go straight to the page and see your updates made. 
So that was the little change I made. All right. So these are a few of the updates and changes that we've made recently. I hope that all of you um, are utilizing the tool if you have it and are exploring every bit of it because it's really great stuff to, to use to build your business. If you have any questions, of course, you can always visit our help section where we have PDF guides, tutorials, and FAQ, or you can email our smile team at flp.com for help on any questions. And then of course, we will always respond to your comments and questions through social media. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you all have a great rest of your day and stay healthy.